Hey guys, welcome to Toy Box TV Top 5. I'm Tyler. I'm Allison. And I'm JB. And today we're going to be turning back the sundial and counting down the winners of the Good Dinosaur Challenge. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, what are you waiting for? It's been out for a couple weeks. And it is so good. All right guys, let's start off with number 5. You guys get this, number five is making her Toy Box TV top five debut. Congratulations to a brand new artist, Nicole S, and her toy box titled Dino Days. Journey through the world of the good dinosaur in this sequel adventure and prove you're a true hero by saving Arlo's farm from destruction. Rex informs you of a volcano that's about to erupt. You've got to stop it before it destroys everything. Climb the volcano and throw in a sacred rock to calm the volcano's rage. Nice! Now this toy box had some really great story elements and fun platforming gameplay. Congrats, Nicole, and welcome to the League of Toy Box Artists. In the number four toy box, our friend Arlo has been injured and needs your help. Let's take a look at Injured Arlo by Mr. Monkey. Arlo's too weak to journey on, so help Nash, Butch, and Ramsey build shelter, find food, and keep Arlo warm. Hop on one of your T-Rex friends and roar these trees until they fall. Perfect lumber for shelter. Next, jump on a log and ride the mighty river to collect cherries so that nobody goes hungry. And my favorite part is when you have to brave the volcano to get warm rocks. I mean, that vine puzzle, that's pretty tricky. Nice one, Mr. Monkey. The team loved all the different modes of gameplay that you included in this toy box. Our number three toy box had some pretty cool innovative elements. Let's take a look at Harvest Season Hunt by Model Train Man and F. Daniel IX. Scorcher the Dragon has been an annoying pest to Arlo and his family. He scattered all of their crops everywhere. Collect all the crops to save the day. F. Daniel IX and Model Train Man actually used the calendar tool in this toy box as well. That means depending on both the time of day and the season, this toy box can look completely different. Yo, that's pretty awesome. And speaking of awesome, check out that Arlo block art. Gotta love block art. That is so cool. Congrats on another amazing toy box. Good job, guys. Saddle up, everyone. It's time to learn how to herd cattle. Check out the number two toy box, T-Rex Training Day by CC Runner 524. <laughs> Are you ready to learn how to be a real wrangling T-Rex? Train with Butch and collect items to boost up your score. But if Butch catches you, then it's game over, yeah! So watch out for those beehives, because knocking into one of those is sure to set you back. This is a very interesting concept with the camera angle facing backwards, and it totally works. Everyone was on the edge of their seat when Butch was on our tail. Amazing job on this, guys. This toy box was super fun. Congratulations. And the number one toy box was a really fun take on what happened in Butch's story. Congratulations to our number one toy box of the Good Dinosaur Challenge, Butch's Scar Story by Pirate Steven. Enjoy an interactive retelling by the campfire of the story of how Butch received his scar. Head out west and roar down 20 of the town's toughest bad guys single-handedly. That is intense. And that's not even how he got his scar. He was super thirsty after the fight and went down to the watering hole where a bunch of crocodiles attacked him. Butch is seriously one tough T-Rex. I love this scene in the movie and it's really cool how Pirate Steven ran with his backstory in his toy box. Yeah, congrats on another great toy box, Pirate Steven. Well, that's it for this week's top five, but this week we also have a brand new toy box artist to feature. Let's take a look at Longhorn Roundup, created by Panda Alsatian. Earn your mark in this toy box by helping your friends from Disney Pixar's The Good Dinosaur. You'll start off in Arlo's farm. Now, his family has gotten so successful that they expanded to a new territory. Gather up lumber so that Arlo can build a new silo. Next, we'll head out west to Butch, Ramsey, and Nash's ranch. Help Ramsey collect shamrocks as fast as you can, and then help Nash herd cattle. We had so much fun in this toy box and really liked how it had so many different forms of gameplay. Keep up the great work, Panda Alsatian. Congratulations, and we hope to see you in the top five soon. All right, guys, buckle up. It's time to put the pedal to the metal in the Speedway Challenge. In this toy box challenge, there's only one rule. Build a racetrack toy box that you would love to see inside of Toy Box Speedway. 
The theming is completely up to you. And if you'd like to make multiple racetracks, you can make your own Toy Box Grand Prix. That would be totally awesome. Okay, all Toy Box submissions are due by Wednesday, December 30th at noon Pacific time. All right, so you guys make sure to include hashtag Speedway Challenge in the description. That way we can find your submission. Good luck, everybody. I can't wait to see kind of raceways I get to beat Tyler on. Challenge accepted. All right, everyone, that's it for this episode. Thanks for being the best community ever. And of course, thank you for watching. Now get to work on those Speedway toy boxes. And don't forget, you have until the end of the month to top the leaderboards for Midnight Movie Madness. All of the top scores will be featured right here on Toy Box TV. All right, guys, have a wonderful weekend. And remember, if you can dream it, you, you can, can do, do it. it.